The Sustainable Built Environment National Research Centre is a unique blend of industry, government and research partners working across Australian industry with key links internationally. The aim of this uh, project is to uh, look at the contribution of maintenance uh, to uh, resilience of uh, buildings, uh, to extreme, extreme events uh, being uh, earthquakes, uh, bushfires, uh, cyclones uh, and, and floods. Certainly uh, extreme events cause significant losses. Obviously the major consideration is uh, human loss, but we also have economic losses, whether it is in buildings or in function. It is reported that the uh, losses due to these extreme events uh, uh, per annum amount to about $3.7 billion. So obviously, if um, through this project uh, we can uh, um, undertake some maintenance, preventative maintenance, so that we can reduce this, uh, this uh, annual loss, then that would be of major benefit to the community uh, at large. With bushfire, maintenance is absolutely critical in trying to prevent the uh, ignition, particularly through the embers attack, which can spread to quite a long distance from the bushfire. We recommend that we should have a maintenance menu, some sort of uh, checklist for specific events like bushfire and flood, if we think the, if the building is, uh, is subject to this risk. This research is important to AFAC members because it contributes to our understanding about how to make communities more resilient for disasters. In order to reduce risk in the built environment, we need to think about things like, how are those buildings being maintained? And in the case of bushfire prone areas, have those buildings been maintained to the same standards that they are required when that building was first constructed? Currently, there are no mandatory provisions for maintenance of buildings in Australia beyond what we call essential services maintenance. So a maintenance manual for Australia as part of the National Construction Code would require certain maintenance standards to be met by the building owners and tenants on an ongoing basis. And those maintenance provisions would ensure that the integrity, the structural integrity and the integrity from that broader resilience perspective has been maintained over time since the building was first constructed. Extreme wind events cause significant damage to buildings and infrastructure throughout Australia each year. Over the last few decades, we have managed to come up with very good standards to ensure that there are no structural failings with our new buildings. So we have overcome this particular problem. However, in terms of the life cycle serviceability resilience of buildings, we still have some problems with respect to water ingress through openings such as windows and glazed doors. This can also be compounded by some long-term problems such as mould and termite infestation that can occur due to repeated water ingress into the property uh, building envelope. This is particularly important in Northern Australia where we have these high wind events occurring quite regularly. If many of the recommendations that we have developed are implemented by the various stakeholders such as government, private industry and manufacturers, we believe that we can increase the resilience of building stock and reduce the incidence of water ingress and the resultant costs that are incurred to the building owner or tenant over the life cycle of the building. So this small amount can add up to be quite a significant sum over this building life cycle and it is preventable. Because of the, the nature of this type of complexity and involving many stakeholders, we, uh, as a part of our research methodology, we designed a, a number of workshops. Through the te telephone interviews, we interviewed 27 people, and we also visited manufacturers, two of them. The whole idea is to understand how they see the problem. We uh, suggested a number of simple solutions that could drastically reduce the maintenance cost associated to water ingress. These solutions are, for instance, uh, more uh, detailed installation work quality form, 
appropriate, proper industry training, the auditing of a certain amount of uh, windows and uh, glazed door that has been installed, and introduction of proper KPIs to monitor both the quality of the installation work and the building performance. So we think that all these solutions together, even if they are simple, they can provide significant cost savings and reduce the water ingress due to um, high wind uh, rain events. Um, the recommendations from this report um, and um, allow us to, um, well, they give us the tools for better risk assessments for our, for our assets, which you know, government holds for a long time. And it enables us to make <clears throat> decisions about targeted expenditure which will then make a difference in the long term for those assets which will be held for a long time. So the expenditure might not be great, but the impact could be significant on our, on our buildings. Um, and obviously that means we don't have to uh, rebuild buildings, um, but our maintenance regimes can enhance their, their resilience. Uh, the, the great thing is resilience, uh, building resilience into the future. This research is trying to compile this knowledge and, and undertake uh, in-depth analysis so that we can provide uh, uh, evidence for policy and for practice. <laughs>